Hi, this is Lindsay Oden, Special Research Assistant at the Washington State Attorney General's Office, and this is your AGO Moment in History. In this series, our office will be releasing clips from our Oral History Project, an ongoing effort to collect and preserve the history of the Attorney General's Office as told by the people who have worked here over the years. In this episode, our current Attorney General Bob Ferguson interviews former Attorney General and U.S. Senator Slate Gordon. Senator Gordon served three terms as Attorney General of Washington State from 1969 to 1981. He was later elected to the U.S. Senate, where he served three terms from 1981 to 1987 and from 1989 to 2001. Previously, Senator Gordon served for 10 years in the Washington House of Representatives from 1959 to 1969. During that time, he became involved in a very strange legal case involving John E. Goldmark, a fellow representative. Gordon testified on behalf of John and Sally Goldmark, who were suing several anti-communist provocateurs for libel. John Goldmark, a Democrat, had been defeated in the 1962 Democratic primary for his seat after a prolonged campaign had alleged he and his wife were communists. During the libel trial, which the Goldmarks eventually won, though the verdict was later overturned by the Supreme Court, Senator Gordon testified that John Goldmark had an excellent reputation and denied that Goldmark was a communist. In this last clip from our series on Senator Gordon, the senator recalls his involvement in this strange case. There's one more story I wanted to ask, and then I kind of want to open up anything that, might, that you might want to share, but uh, it's actually got really nothing to do with your time as Attorney General. Something we've talked about in the past, but I thought for folk, folks watching this, uh, uh, it was when you were a state legislator, and, uh, uh, and this goes back to a time of, uh, in our country where the red baiting that was going on, uh, McCarthyism was going on, and no, in Eastern Washington, me. well, with I'm thinking of the, Gold, the Goldmark case well, the in the Goldmark Okanagan, case, right? Yeah. In, in the Okanagan, the Goldmark case in the Okanagan, where uh, um, where John Goldmark, a state legislator who you served with, the Democrat mm -hmm. serving in the Okanagan area, uh, was uh, uh, there were newspaper articles, allegations that that he and or his wife were were tied to, to, to communists and really spurious allegations. And there's a trial in the Okanagan. John Goldmark was elected to the legislature either one or two terms mm -hmm. uh, you know, before I was. Uh, he and his wife were a Jewish family from New York City. Mm -hmm. He was, I think, a lieutenant commander in the Navy in, right. in World War II. Yes. And I don't know why, I didn't know him that well, when he came home, just decided we're going to lead a different life. Right. Okay, we're going to off to the Okanagan. The West and off to the Okanagan and, and uh, uh, become ranchers. Beyond electric power, I think mm -hmm. when he first when he first built his place, but yeah, of course a, an absolutely brilliant man, and in some respects, Bob, politics were better in those days than when I was there, because there were Republicans in Seattle and there were Democrats in the rural areas, uh, and so both party caucuses had people from all over the state. You know, from all over the state. That's interesting. And so he, he was elected as a Democrat. Okanagan County was very Democratic then. He was elected as, as a Democrat. And then a year or two later, I came in. And he was a very good speaker and very logical. And I loved debating him. You know, I figured if I could stay even with John Goldberg, I was doing, you know, mm -hmm. I, I was, I was doing pretty well. Uh, and uh, then it was, it would have been 1962. Yeah, that the end of that, uh, at, at that period, the Camp, yes. Campbell area, uh, uh, was contested in the Democratic primary in his legislative district, mm -hmm. which was then legislative district number uh, number one, um, and the opponents ran a man who turned out to be pretty good legislator in the end, the county commissioner, but a you know a native mm -hmm. you know, rancher there against him. But basically, they ran against him on the basis that he and his wife were communists. Yes. Now, his wife apparently had been a member of the Communist mm -hmm. Party, but had not hidden it, and it was irrelevant right. to you know, what they were doing then. Exactly. And that he was just a bad guy. He was an interloper from you know, back east, and yes. he was sympathetic to the Soviet Union and the like. And they beat the hell out of him. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was not it was not a close election right. by any means. He was just he was he was slaughtered. Yes. And, and, uh, uh, in, in that primary, and then he sues. It's, it's another right. Bill Dwyer story. Yes, he got Bill Dwyer here. I was going to tie lawyer, this back to Dwyer a little bit. Yeah, who sued 
this group for libel mm -hmm. in the Superior Court in Okanagan, Okanagan County. County. And Bill Dwyer calls me. Uh, now, this is this is before I was Attorney General, of course. Absolutely, you legislature. And, before the, uh, uh, and did you know Dwyer well? This, this is one, one, one reason why I asked was Dwyer's key role with the baseball, and I knew that Dwyer represented uh, John Goldmark. I just was curious, uh, and, and then you go back, of course, where and get to the point where you go back and and speak at the at the trial. Did you know Dwyer well, or just how you really got connected? We were on opposite sides of an antitrust case involving milk for a while, but I was the smallest defendant, and we made a settlement and got out of it, which okay. was my great relief, okay. Okay. <laughs> because Dwyer was an yeah. awesome lawyer, yeah. and he was a friendly guy. So yes, I knew him, we but not well. close personally, okay. uh, you know, by, by any stretch of the imagination. But I was in the legislature and was mm -hmm. known for that. So he calls me when this case is ready to go to trial and asks if I will agree to be a reputation witness. You can't be a character witness in a civil case. You could be a reputation witness. And and I'm saying to myself, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two choices. I can either be a coward or I can get myself in deep trouble. No, 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 no about it. it. And so I took a deep sigh and said, yes, I would go and be a reputation witness. Uh, it was the first time I ever set foot in Okanagan County. Interesting. I had never been in the county that on a November day that I went up there to testify for five to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. It was a minor deal, except that the aggressive lawyers on the other side cross-examined me in a way that I could say a whole lot of things that I couldn't under direct examination. I could really go into character and, and personal relationships mm -hmm, and, uh, mm -hmm. and the like, and not just say his reputation for patriotism mm -hmm. was high or, you know, or, or, or whatever it was. Right. And, and, and uh, Goldmark and Dwyer won that lawsuit. They never collected the money because the New York Times decision yes. came out six months later, yes. and, and uh, there, after that point there was no way that Goldmark or anybody else could have Correct. Uh, could have uh, you know, won. But a huge uh, victory in a case that was a national major it was a major national case. thing, and it vindicated John yes. and what he had done in his community. And it was great that it was in Okanagan County because it was his own peers and his yes. own neighbors who were members of the jury. Yes. So it was a. Uh, the fact that he didn't win the 40000 bucks or whatever the verdict yes. was, was irrelevant. Yeah. So, so for you, you're a young Republican legislator at that time, John Goldmark, of course, being a Democrat in Okanagan County, and and you received a bit of grief from Well, I got, a, I got a primary. I was going to say, so, so maybe you can tell the red, you got, you got a primary <laughs> opponent on the Republican side <laughs> next time you ran for the legislature, that there politically you you received some, but, uh, you know, some grief for that. You always have to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. It made me not weaker but stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, I won that primary big mm -hmm. after, after it was over and had a little bit more notoriety, I guess, than most state representatives have as a result. I, and so for those who don't know too much about the, that trial who want to learn more, Bill Dwyer wrote a book about it. I think it's called The Goldmark Case. Yeah, I think it's called. Wrote, wrote a book on the case. A fascinating book and a fascinating mm -hmm. trial that uh, you played a role in. And, uh... Thanks for listening to this AGO Moment in History. Be sure to like and subscribe to receive updates when we upload a new episode. On our next episode, we'll turn to another former Attorney General of Washington State, Christine Gregoire. Thanks, and we'll see you again very soon.